All right, I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. And today we're talking about uh, an exchange I found pretty interesting about the state of PvP matchmaking, uh, a pretty candid exchange from DMG, who was responding to a player who was posting about a complaint that a number of people have had over the last few weeks, months, years about how uh, matchmaking in Destiny, especially in kind of like normal Iron Banner or Sixes, um, is really kind of screwed up at the moment. Um, you have probably seen this situation yourself and have been, of, been in one of these three positions. It is a very lopsided game where uh, there's a whole bunch of players on the one team that have a bunch of positive KDAs. There was one really good player on the other team who does very well, but they cannot carry their other five teammates to anywhere close to victory despite them performing well. So you are either in the group that is steamrolling and getting through a game in a quick mercy that isn't even a challenge. You were that one person trying really, really hard and getting dragged down by a bunch of worst teammates. Or you are the worst teammates and you are probably new at the game, not great at PvP, having an off game, whatever, and then thrown into a game with a bunch of players who are much, much better than you. Uh, and this creates a situation that is not terribly fun for everyone or anyone, even maybe necessarily the people that are winning because they're not really <laughs> challenged in any meaningful capacity and they're kind of just farming. Uh, so this has brought up the old skill-based matchmaking versus connection-based matchmaking debate. Um, and this had DMG responding to a comment that was talking about how SVMM 2.0 being here has screwed everything up. And he's trying to set the record straight. And I, I'm going to do a dramatic reading of his series of tweets. Um, I think he is a great community manager. He shows much more composure than I could ever possibly hope to do in that role. But I can sense some frustration here on a number of fronts uh, because people are saying things that apparently aren't true. And also Bungie has done things that people asked for and now that's turning out badly. So here's what he says. Uh, hey, just to keep the record straight, we literally turned off skill-based matchmaking in the majority of Crucible playlists multiple years ago. This was thanks, and feedback, thanks to feedback from high skill players. We now have even uh, more negative sentiment around matchmaking than ever before. This is not only coming from players in high skill bands, but many in low skill bands who are frequently matching against players way out of their punching weight. New players are thrown into the fray with little to no experience with the game slash systems. There is indeed valid feedback in team distributions here. Never feels great to have lobbies balanced in such a way where your entire team has a negative KD while yours is high. That said, without SBMM, the system cannot perfectly allocate skill across teams. We're passing the feedback up and the team is looking at future opportunities for improvements, but I want to be clear here. We do not use SBMM in the majority of Crucible playlists. We check this every season when players ask if it was turned back on. It was not. <laughs> so that is that is how I interpret him, <laughs> uh, the voice in his head when he was writing that. And I, I don't blame him. So what happened here is essentially uh, a lot of people have always blamed, this is not unique to Destiny, but people have blamed skill-based matchmaking for matchmaking issues across a ton of games but especially destiny where originally like this was kind of requested by a lot of high skill players but low skill players thought it might help them too pretty much people were complaining about skill based matchmaking in that they did not want every game to be sweaty they did not want like casual quick play sixes to be sweaty when you were a really good player and matched up against other really good players um but dmg is saying here that like the current problem with matchmaking is not SBMM, it's actually probably a lack of SBMM. And the only way to really get back to anything approaching kind of reasonable balance where high skill is matched with high skill, medium with medium, and low with low, um, is to go back to actual skill-based matchmaking. But the community has made it very clear they don't want that. And yet, now the community is planning more than ever about matchmaking. So I can see why Bungie would be a little frustrated here. And this does seem like they might just be like, screw it, we're turning skill base back on for a spell because clearly whatever is happening right now, which is not skill based, is not working. Um, I've heard some people say that this is not a uh, match balancing issue, it is a lobby balancing issue. And if you like shuffled around all the bad people into the other team and move some of the good people down, like that would have been an okay match. But what DMG seems to be saying here is like, that is sort of what skill based matchmaking is. And without implementing that to some degree, it's you can't really do lobby balancing without some manner of skill-based matchmaking also. So it, it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation for Bungie here. 
people hated or claimed to hate skill-based matchmaking to an extreme degree before, so much so that Bungie was like, all right, fine, we're turning it off for everything. Um, and then that just led to all groups of people complaining because the high skill players now find themselves being put in the position of the one being the one dude who's like so good he's carrying up the rest of his teammates and that's like supposed to be a balanced match somehow and they think that's skill-based matchmaking but it's not and um then the low skill people are just getting turned off to pvp in general because they're getting thrown into matches where they're getting stopped um and then this becomes a, a pervasive problem but do you turn it back on and then everyone will accuse anything that goes wrong from there uh that skill based is on and then it will be this thing all over again and i don't know what the answer is here because like you're going to have pros and cons with each category if the idea here is that this is the worst matchmaking has ever been and it is feeling bad for all groups of players high skill low skill everybody then it probably is time for a drastic change even if that drastic change is god forbid putting skill based matchmaking back on um, and you probably will see a lot of high school people complaining because maybe if they're not the person carrying the bad team anymore, they are getting thrown in matches that are at their skill level and very, very difficult. And they don't want that for sixes. They want to casually off meta, you know, play around and whatever. But at a certain point, you kind of ask, like, who who are we catering to? And, you know, Destiny has never claimed really to be a high end PvP game. There are attempts at that like trials and stuff but like this is not an esports destiny has never tried to be an esport in any real capacity uh and for truly competitive shooters with uh you know actual ranked modes and actual tournaments like there are other games to play and so i don't know if the top you know 0.1 percent of the player base needs to be the one dictating that no svmm for any reason is bad because it's going to make my games more sweaty and i'll stop playing pvp you know who else is going to stop playing pvp all of the medium to low skill players who keep getting thrown into games like this and getting destroyed, even if it's casual sixes. So it seems like Bungie is on the way to maybe kind of reverse this after a while because things are just getting worse and worse and worse. And um, there is no, they're saying that this is not a skill based, skill based issue. This is a lack of it. And that needs to be potentially turned back on in order to try and address some of these issues. And without doing that, there's no real way to kind of balance these teams in the way people claim to want and people claim to want the removal of skill base but now we now we're here so we'll see what happens going forward it seems like this next year is going to be pretty heavily well okay heavily quote unquote pvp focused at least heavy for destiny where big iron banner rework coming um some new modes some new maps things like that uh are, are on the way so like over the course of this next year there is at least some pvp content coming which you know, as opposed to the last two years where there was almost zero. Uh, so that is something. But And I do wonder if a matchmaking change could be part of that. Um, we don't know if there are firm plans. Like, this is kind of just DMG, like, laying out the situation and trying to set the facts straight of, like, what you're complaining about is not actually happening. And this is all kind of like a weird placebo perception problem about skill-based matchmaking. Again, not unique to Destiny, but I imagine it is frustrating to see this brought up time and time again when that... It's not the problem, and I guess we can't 100% rule out that Bungie's checks to make sure it's not on are not flawed in some way each and every time, but the longer this goes on, the more that seems increasingly unlikely, but I think that did happen a long, long time ago, so people are, are kind of wary, so we'll see what happens from here. I think it's, it's worth at least trying to experiment with a change because the current system is clearly not working for pretty much anyone, so... We'll see what happens, but I just thought that was an interesting kind of uh, aside here, especially when there's not too, too much going on with the base game itself right now. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Take care.